Hey, welcome back. Uh, had the little uh, uh, malfunction here, so I, I restarted. I've already poured your bourbon. You can look down and see it there. Uh, we're going to talk about four roses today. Uh, you may notice, if you don't, it, I have a little lavalier mic on. I'm trying out a new recorder, but what you don't see is I have uh, studio mics right behind the camera, one on each side, running through a mixer over in, uh, through, through my equipment. Uh, I'm most assuredly going to use the, the audio that I'm picking up from here, but I'm trying out a new recorder uh, so that we can become mobile because right now I can't take all of this equipment with me uh, if we go somewhere. Um, I already started a recording on this. Um, I had to format the SD card on the camera, ran out of space. Uh, it happens. We get started, we have to stop. But we're talking about Four Roses small batch. I'm going to pour myself just a little bit more here uh, because I was sipping on it uh, before uh, I had to uh, restart this. But uh, welcome back. <laughs> so um, Four Roses, I, I, I want to say, I think is an is a underrated uh, bourbon right now. A lot of people may not know about it, this small batch anyway. A lot of people know about Four Roses, but uh, this small batch is excellent. Um, it's got a great nose on it. Uh, you, you of course get the, the regular, uh, caramel, vanilla, apple smells off of it, but there's some woody notes in there as well. And I pick up maybe, you know, not, not a dried fruit, but, but maybe some, uh, marmalade or something like that with it. Uh, a little spicy notes in there. Get a little air in what I just poured here. Yeah, it's it's a great nose on it. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, give it a taste, and I'll give it another go for you. Again, the finish and the the finish is long grr on this than some I've had. I'll preface that. Not as pleasant. I think I'm getting some floral, some bitter floral. It's sort of like chewing on a rose leaf or something. A petal, I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to have enough bourbon tonight because I'm going to drink this and yours. Um, but yeah, I'm getting, it's almost like a, a flower petal, bitter, but there's that floral in there. But if uh, this may open up better in water and uh, <laughs> got a little tickle in the throat, uh, let me let me give it another go. Yep, much better if you warm it a little. Uh, it's kind of cool in here. It's probably 70 degrees, maybe 69 uh, in this room. Uh, so the bourbon can kind of get chilly. A lot more pleasant, though, when you warm it before you swallow. Uh, chew on it a little bit. The center of tongue, sweet, um, but not as sweet as, say, Elijah Craig. Um, the uh, We're getting some notes over on the sides here, or I am. Uh, I wouldn't call it pepper, maybe some toasted grain. Uh, not as much as, say, Eagle Rare, and certainly not as much as uh, the Bladen Bow, but still, this is a, a pleasant, pleasant bourbon. Um, I, I think uh, they're, it's well worth the price. Uh, for, and I, like, again, I don't really do pricing because regional prices vary, but I found this highly affordable uh, where I am. Yeah, not a hard punch to the wallet, but a pleasant, uh, notes on the tongue. Uh, I, I, I really, uh, enjoy this bourbon. Uh, I wouldn't call it my favorite. Um, but again, like I said before, these bourbons are like my kids. Um, you know, you love them all different. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a good, good, solid, solid bourbon. Uh, if you just want to put, add something to the collection on your shelf, I think this is great. I don't think anybody's going to turn their nose up at it. 
Um, you know, I don't have Jim Beam up there, but nothing against uh, Beam Suntory. I think they make some great bourbons. I know we had the Basil Hayden's. It's a little light in the, in the pants uh, as far as the uh, alcohol content goes. And like I said in that video, I wouldn't uh, smoke a cigar and drink it because I don't think I'd be able to taste it at all. Uh, possibly a good starter bourbon. But this is going to give you some flavor right here. This, these are going to give you some good notes. Um, again, that first initial punch on the back of the throat is kind of florally bitter, but warm it up a little in your mouth. Again, I think it may open up in water. We'll get into that later. Mm. Yep. Good sweet. Got a little, uh, a little vanilla kick there uh, going down. Not a super long finish. Not, not the... The high octane, you know, roller coaster I was talking about, the tingly, but but it's a it's a nice it's a nice bourbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, guys. It's getting late and I need to process this video. But as, as always, please subscribe and uh, share me whatever, and I'll keep bringing these videos to you. Uh, I have a Facebook page, Bourbon Bounty, uh, link to it from from the YouTube, uh, and, and vice versa. Uh, like that page, follow me there. Uh, and see you next time.